Berna Collant, in, co-named 1,235 Serbian dinars, proposed trade names Kinapid and Brinavis, is an investigational drug under regulatory review for the acute conversion of atrial fibrillation. It was initially developed by Cardiome Pharma, and the intravenous formulation was bought for further development by Merck in April 2009. In September 2012, Merck terminated its agreements with Cardiome and has consequently returned all rights of the drug back to Cardiome. On the 11th of December 2007, the Cardiovascular and Renal Drugs Advisory Committee of the U.S. Food and Drug Administration (FDA) voted to recommend the approval of Vernacolant, but in August 2008, the FDA judged that additional information was necessary for approval. The drug, under brand name Brinavis, was approved in Europe on the 1st of September 2010. An oral formulation underwent phase two clinical trials between 2005 and 2008. Mechanism of action Like other class III antiarrhythmics, vernicolant blocks atrial potassium channels, thereby prolonging repolarization. It differs from typical class III agents by blocking a certain type of potassium channel, the cardiac transient outward potassium current, with increased potency as the heart rate increases. This means that it is more effective at high heart rates, while other class III agents tend to lose effectiveness under these circumstances. It also slightly blocks the Herg potassium channel, leading to a prolonged QT interval. This may theoretically increase the risk of ventricular tachycardia, though this does not seem to be clinically relevant. The drug also blocks atrial sodium channels. It's mainly used for rapid conversion of acute onset AF, AF lasting 3 to 72 hours. Metabolism Vernicolant is cleared by both renal and hepatic mechanisms. Majority via cytochrome CYP2D6 and excreted as glucuronide. Elimination half-life is 3 to 4 hours. References <references>